how does it compare to what the EFI setup drives like? Like, what's the difference? I think just the responsiveness. What have we done, just um, quickly? Up. Um, we've hopefully got the RPM and oil pressure running through the Haltech dash. So, that should be, um... Yeah, nice. That should be nice. She needs the new pumps. So we just grounded the motor and seen if that makes a difference to the oil pressure reading that it's given. Here's a quick look at the water pump setup. Crazy good, man. No bueno? Not yet. So what we are attempting to do is to integrate the tack signal from the MSD so that it shows up on the dash. Currently the dash is pulling all its data from the ECU, which is still in the car and it's still actually wired up. But if we can get the program and switch it from CAN bus, yeah. I think that will be right. Yeah. And the oil pressure switch, because it's playing funny buggers. Well, hopefully we can download this Haltech software do the switch over, yeah. Shout out to Haltech for having your software available on your website. That is mint, because we haven't played with Haltech stuff before. We don't have the software. We're going, please, 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 looked it up. There it is, fucking sweet, done. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna download the software, um, play around with the settings in there, and see if we can get this dash working, because that'd be ideal. Like that's what we're trying to do is get that dash so it's working to what Craig is used to. So oil pressure RPM. Oil pressure and RPM, yeah, hundred percent. Water temp we get to figure it out. Yeah. If only MSD would make a plug in. to hear it man like with the yeah, with the, with the pipes system. yeah i think it'll be i think it'll sound good pain, is it? yeah. yeah craig assures me it's fine to do skids on these uh on these rims i mean you wouldn't catch me doing that but uh there's an idea for size it's that's a that's a lot of dish man heaps of tread on there heaps of tread yeah <laughs> ladies and gentlemen We've stuck Pinky up on the hoist and have just gotten the exhaust set up, buttoned up. I'll give you a look at the, the full setup. Comes out of the extractors, comes down here to an H pipe and just straight through all the way back up and over the diff and out the back. Fabricated rear end. Nine inch 
coilovers, which apparently were what color? Silver before? They were anodized, yeah. They weren't pink originally. Well, they look anodized now, but they, <laughs> they look anodized pink, which is crazy. So that's from your tires? Yeah, that's from a few pink sets gone through it. Yeah, wow. As you can tell, everything else is gone pink with the bolts. Yeah, everything under here is bloody pink. Yeah. Now we have not fired it up yet with the full exhaust system and I am super, super excited to hear this thing with a full exhaust. We're gonna drop it down now and fire it up. Listen to this. How's that, Craig? That's good. That's yeah. That feels so good. It's so responsive. Just have to get used to the methanol, but that's all right. It looks like I'm crying when I'm trying to skid at someone else. <laughs> but no, that was awesome. Good feeling. Miles. <laughs> the runs, the drives, the skids. Yep. Bring on some of that 34. Well, we done out for drives. Wow. Yeah, we're, well, we're not. We're just not sure. We're, so we're just going to have to test yeah. it. We're going to have to go find out. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, look at those marks. <laughs> Out of smoke so quickly. Even just when he's tapping it, it's like the big tires, it's just sliding. Yeah. That would be fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to say. That is insane. Wow, that's good. It steps out so easily. Yeah. And yeah, that last time I hit top gear, it just kept going. Yeah. How does it compare to what the EFI setup drives like? Like, what's the difference? I think just the responsiveness. Like it just seems to be like instant. Yeah. If I set up was like, I'd never had a problem with it. Yeah. But yeah, either I've, my driving style's just changed or like, yeah, it struggled to do that a little bit with the 85 and the yeah. injection setup. But that there, just stepped out, kept going, top gear, then like still kept going. That's, yeah. I didn't really try to do it like before either, but yeah, yeah. That just seemed to be so much easier. Easy. These fat black lines. There's some fat ass marks, man. That's yeah. the first That's time he's we went. We went to come back in, and then Damien goes, "You gonna go again?" I was like, "Oh yeah." Or yeah. <laughs> like, have another shot." Go again out. if you want, might as well. <laughs> yeah. Just put a few more left in. Mate, that's straightable. <laughs> literally. <laughs> like save literally. For, we'll save that for summer naps. Hell yeah. Little cheeky one to skid roll. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Today, unwittingly, <laughs> we are fucking twins. <laughs> yeah. Grey shorts. And same the same shirt. shirt. Yeah. Mint. I, mean, I was going to work with Dad. <laughs> <laughs> What do you have to do to get that all Just hooked up? Fucking programs. <laughs> uh, once I downloaded the um, Stash one, it was actually pretty yeah simple. <laughs> cool. Because yeah, yesterday was very interesting. We had a moment. There is um, just the design of the collector and the way that the driver's side header is built, where it's all sort of about four or five parts that sort of slip together. The leak is so bad that we thought there was a rattle coming from the motor <laughs> and we pulled the rocker cover off we were cranking it we changed the oil um and it was looking all good and the pressure was right up there like 70 pounds we were wondering what the hell was going on and it ended up just being an ex like massive bunch of exhaust leaks so we are going to just a function of the way it's built so it's just how it is but we are going to try and seal it up so it doesn't sound like we're running a freaking broken motor at cruising around at summer nuts. It's just all, um, just all for the sound. So we'll seal that up. Running, driving, ready to go. Skids. It skids hard. Yeah. And it a couple times. we've been playing with the timing as well. And that's, it's just savage now, man. Like the, the throttle response you get from cracking the throttle is just insane. Now we've, uh, Increase the initial timing. So it's over 20 degrees of initial now, just, just at idle, and 30 degrees of total timing, and the thing just fucking is savage, man. It's so good, so looking forward to it, eh? Hey? Good. Thanks, guys, for watching. You guys are awesome. If you guys are down there and you see the car, be sure to give us a wave. Um, we're super friendly. We're not gonna tell you to piss off or whatever. Talk to any of you. Um, we just love what this thing's That's about. <laughs> hey. Took here and gets on the piss. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mate. Nah, nah, I don't drink. <laughs>
So, um, <laughs> nah. Um, we got to pay for methanol now. Yeah, methanol is going to be uh, filling up out of the Bowser. Like, I'm yeah. so excited, man. I'm just so G'd up for it. So, you fire it up if you want. sat there he got he got the calendar out and he's like oh summonats is right here and nine months before that he was like hmm <laughs> <laughs> it was not planned i fucking tell you. <laughs> let's try and have a baby oh man guys we are done we are heading to summonats just loaded pinky up on the trailer just about to head off now thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you down there